Hello from Helsinki. It's Daiki. One morning in October, I visited an island called Kurosari and then walked to another island called Mustikkama. I hope you enjoy the autumn vibes in the beautiful Finnish nature. This is actually one of my favorite seasons in Finland. In the Finnish autumn is quite short in my opinion. Let's say the summer ends in the beginning of August and after that the temperature drops rapidly. We start getting rainy or cloudy weather much more compared to summertime. But yeah, when the weather is good, Helsinki shows us really magical views. And you can actually see that autumn is coming from different viewpoints like whether it's one thing and how people dress and the forest colors are changing and also if you go to supermarkets there are some uh, seasonal food in autumn like pumpkins or mushrooms and you see some berries and I realized um, when I was in Japan I liked eating seasonal food in each season but then after moving to Finland I realized I didn't really pay much attention for seasonal food so I thought I should maybe enjoy some local seasonal food more on a daily basis so I was asking some friends what I should eat or checking some websites of Helsinki yeah they say a variety of berries especially lingon berries and some type of fish root vegetables reindeer meat and pumpkin and it actually makes sense because people here eat reindeer meat with lingonberries so they are the combination of two autumn seasonal food and speaking of reindeer meat um, I have to share with you one story so when I moved to Finland I studied in Ivaskila but uh, I stayed in Helsinki for two days before moving to Ivaskila and it, and it was actually on my first day in Finland I was hanging around the market square and then um, in the market square there was this one stand selling reindeer meatball and the guy at the food stand uh, started talking to me like hey would you like to try reindeer meatball yeah I tried it and it was so gamey and I didn't like it at all and I had to drink water after that because uh, the strong taste of reindeer meatball still stayed in my mouth and it, I was really a bit shocked because I was really looking forward to trying reindeer meat and then I found out okay I don't like it at all however after I completed my study in Yuvasila and I moved to Rovaniemi and lived there only for three, four months just for winter work for fun and I got an opportunity to try reindeer meat steak and it was really good I would say it was one of the best food I had in Finland so it was completely different from reindeer meatball I learned if you try fresh reindeer meat it's really good so if you come to Finland, you should try like fresh reindeer meat, not like meatball or sausages. Yeah, and hopefully in the north part of Finland, like Lapland area. Anyway, that was a good experience and uh, I, since then I didn't see reindeer meatball food stands in Helsinki. So maybe it didn't become really popular. <laughs> Okay, now I'm crossing a bridge to Mustikkama from this Kurosari. The view is really nice. It's such a great weather today, but according to weather forecast, um, it will be either rainy or cloudy in the next 10 days so um, winter is coming and we need to physically and mentally prepare for 
long, dark, gloomy Finnish winter. Of course, it's cold. Yeah. So we can't really do some outside activity during winter time. Of course, we can go skiing or ice skating, but it's not something we do on a daily basis. So it would be nice to have some hobbies that you can do inside. Um, of course, I go to gym, enjoy sauna, or meet with some friends and cook together or bake together. Yeah, but uh, it's also nice to try something new. For example, one of my friends enjoy bouldering on a daily basis. So some people study painting, or some people bought a new musical instrument. So it's nice to try something new during this winter time, I think. Um, I think some of you uh, already know that I'm living in an apartment hotel and there is a co-working space and I see some people there and one of the guys I met last week uh, was telling me that he started going to kickboxing course and he was also asking me if I want to join him at some point and I thought it's a good idea so maybe let's see Okay, I don't really know where I am, but I ended up uh, being in this Kesa Teatri, like a summer theater place. <laughs> mm. Maybe I should go to the seaside. Yeah, so while I was filming, I saw some old grandmas and <laughs> they were kind of smiling at me because I was talking to this camera. <laughs> they were nice. Uh, the funny thing is we don't really speak like or we don't really talk to like random people on the street in Finland but uh, when we go to forests or some nature people say moi and I think it happens to other countries as well in Japan too like you don't talk to people on the street or other places but when you go to nature or mountains, you somehow say moi or hello. <laughs> yeah, so I found uh, this cottage over there and I see some smoke coming out from the building, from the chimney. And I'm wondering if it's sauna. I guess it's sauna. And maybe after sauna, they go to the beach and swim. Yeah, by the way, yesterday I was talking with some friends and uh, they were asking me are there anything I have always wanted to try in my five year life in Finland but I haven't. So, um, I think I have been to many places here in Finland and I have done many things thanks to uh, my local friends but there is actually one thing I still haven't done it yet which is Avanto. So they make a hole in the lake or oceans and they swim in the winter freezing sea or like freezing water. <sighs> and I'm I'm not sure if I can actually do it because I'm really bad at swimming in the cold water. For example, it's already too cold to swim in the end of summer. And I know many Finnish people swimming during like spring or autumn time or even winter time. 
Uh, for example, when I was still studying in Uvascula, there was this one guy from Robariemi, which is north part of Finland, and he went for like swimming in like pond or lake, and there wasn't even sauna, and he never gets sick. But still, yeah, Avant is a unique Finnish cultural experience, so I kind of want to try. Let's see if I can actually do it this winter. So please let me know if there are some unique cultural experience I should still try in Finland, especially during winter time. The thing is, uh, in summertime, there are many places I can go and film for my YouTube channel, but in winter, not really, so, so I need some ideas for my video. So <laughs> please let me know if you have any good or unique idea. Okay, and this camera's battery has only 5% left, so I think I need to end filming here, but thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Moi moi!